What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save the SHSH blobs for iOS 16.6 beta 1. So as you probably know, iOS 16.6 beta 1 is good for jailbreaking. We have one kernel exploit fully released, open source, available on GitHub for that version and of course lower, but that one doesn't work on iOS 16.5.1 or iOS 16.6 the release, only on the beta. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So here's how to save that beta's blobs because that beta is still signed. For this you need blob saver, this application over here, the link will be below and you have to connect your device to the computer. Press read ACID over here and it will read the ACID number as well as the device type, in my case iPhone and iPhone XS Max over here. Then in here on the iOS side select all signed versions but also select include betas because this is the one you need. And then of course if you have an A12 plus device, which you very likely have, you have to press in here read from device to get the app nonce. First unlock your device if it's locked and make sure that you trust the computer and then press read from device and OK. Your device will quickly enter recovery mode and it's going to say reading app nonce over here. And then it says in here successfully got app nonce exiting recovery mode. While that is doing, let me talk a little bit about this project. So the KFD or kernel file descriptor project was released on GitHub a couple of days ago by Felix PB over here and I made an IPA file available though this is basically useful only for developers. It works on iOS 15.0 all the way up to 16.5 for the stable versions but also for 16.6 beta 1. For 16.5.1 and 16.6 it does not work. But 16.6 beta 1 is still signed so as you can see here is how we save the blobs for future downgrades. Once we have everything in place in here and the device rebooted back to normal we have the uh, app nodes, we have the generator, we have the ACID and the model we just have to press go over here and it will start saving the blobs. Now do keep in mind that this will save the blobs for everything that is currently signed including I 16.6 including 16.5.1 all the betas of iOS 16.6 and whatever is signed at the moment but the blob you're actually interested in is the 16.6 beta 1 which will be saved amongst the others over here. Now currently there are some issues with upgrading and downgrading with saved SH SH blobs because of a new component called Cryptex 1 which prevents downgrades and upgrades and stuff like that with blobs especially on versions that are further away from each other but once we figure that out the blob might come in handy so it's probably a good idea to save them and anyway, even though they are broken at the moment. So it says in here success, we got the blob we want, which is iOS 16.6 beta, this one is the beta 1, you press ok and that's it, and they will be saved in this location. That's it, that's how you save the blobs, you never know when you will need them, especially since we have a proper jailbreak exploit released and available here on GitHub, especially for that version, and it's still signed. So yeah, definitely get blob saver and save your blobs today, because tomorrow it might be too late, Apple might stop signing it. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.